Yeah, clearly Peter Rojas, Tim Cook, in his comments there to Josh Lipton and in his initial quote in the earnings release, wants you to look ahead to the opportunity in front of them. He called, Cook called it a once-in-a-decade opportunity to Josh when it comes to 5G phones. Is there anything in this report that troubles you and, and does not allow you to look forward to that? Well, I, I think it's important to keep in mind that uh, Apple typically would launch the iPhone in September, uh, so at the end of Q3. And so we're not seeing any of those sales numbers reflected uh, in this report. And uh, they have only launched two of the four iPhone 12 models, uh, which they are introducing. So they have the iPhone 12, the iPhone 12 Pro, the Mini and the Pro Max models will go on sale next month. And so, you know, they still have a lot of pent up demand for these devices, which, um, you know, is going to start to be satisfied now. There are a lot of consumers, a lot of iPhone owners who have uh, lengthened the amount of time in which they're owning the phone before they upgrade. And they look for a signature time, a signature upgrade moment like this to, um, you know, take the plunge and make that big upgrade, that big upgrade purchase again. And so I think that, uh, you know, iPhone 12 is a big opportunity for that. And I suspect that what Apple is seeing is that um, they're seeing strong interest for the 12 and the 12 Pro. Um, but also, uh, you know, a lot of people are saying, well, I want the mini because I want a smaller phone or I want the Pro Max because I want the best camera. And so those, you know, customers haven't made their purchases yet. So, so I'm confused as to whether you're saying this is optimistic or, or pessimistic, the, the fact that we didn't get the guidance, are people still going to wait and therefore this current quarter will, will be disappointing, or you're saying it, it'll blow past because two of the four new iPhones are out? No, I, I, I think that um, I, I am optimistic about where it's going, and I think that we're going to see uh, a, a pretty impressive Q4 compared with Q3. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.